Um, injury update for you guys. Bullard uh, did have a, an ankle, uh, was evaluated, and, and did come back in the football game. Um, very unfortunate. Uh, come on the road and you battle a uh, team that's playing well right now. Uh, felt like we let one slip away, but I think you got to credit the Bengals, um, you know, getting their offense going there in the second half and uh, just didn't, uh, you know, didn't capitalize on, you know, our last opportunity offensively there in overtime, needing just a, you know, a couple inches to get the first down and they were able to get us a stop or get us stopped. Um, thought we had a good, good look at it on third down. Um, official spotted it otherwise, so they probably had a better look than I did. Um, and we got to be able to get a little bit more um, than that in that moment on an inches type situation. I uh, thought uh, Nick Mullins stepped in, uh, led us to a, a very efficient day you know, on offense, some explosives via the play pass, got the run game going, thought Ty Chandler was outstanding. Um, and then defensively, you know, played a, uh, you know, a great first half that allowed us to uh, really score on our first bo- our first drives of each half and at least generate a lead um, that we were unfortunately able unable to uh, hold on to there but you got to credit credit uh, Jake Browning and, and Zach and, and their offense for hitting the gas there in the second half a little bit with, with that spot can they look at that I was told they did I was told they did I was I was getting some information from the guys up top so uh, you know if they told me they didn't look at it I was going to take a timeout um, but I was told that uh, they did look at it and you know guys upstairs were still saying uh, it just would have come down to that point you know uh, you know it just would have come down to uh, did was there the visual evidence I think the guys up top were looking at their their view of it looking down and, and seeing Nick's second effort there and, and actually the guy on our sideline um, I started calling a, a first and ten play because uh, I saw him I was standing right there across the line but the you know the the, the side judge on the other side must have had him short maybe saw his knee go down Process on repeating that play the second time. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think uh, anytime, um, you know, you're inside of, you know, really the first time inside of a, a couple feet, and then on the on the last one, um, really looking at about four or five inches there. Um, don't really want to have to turn around and extend the ball and hand off another ball. I trust our guys um, in that moment to execute. Uh, wanted to, you know, stay in eleven personnel to try to keep them out of, you know, goal line defense or anything like that. Um, and thought we could execute just with some interior push right there. But, um, you know, based upon how it was spotted, they got the stop and, and then transitioned that to uh, an explosive to give himself a chance to win a game. Is that why Brandon was the uh, pusher? Yeah, I guess, yeah we were trying to keep them out of, uh, you, know, you know, trying to keep them out if we could, uh, out of goal line type of defense. Coach, what is it about the defense uh, late in games when you guys are one stop away from winning? And it seems like that backside dig always comes available, especially these last three or four weeks. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, teams are probably seeing, you know, a way to, you know, if they're able to hold up, if, if we send a pressure, uh, that's one thing. If we don't, they, they're trying to find some pockets in our zones. Um, and there's been, you know, there's been some dagger type throws, like you're saying, on the the dig cuts, and, and we've got to find a way to you know crowd that area of the field and make them throw it somewhere else. And um, I know that uh, defensively, uh, you know, I, I know our guys were battling all the way down to the very end, and that's where you got to give them credit for making a few of those plays there. You know, third and long, um, they get a they get a play, they get a throw up a throw up throw there to you know Higgins for the touchdown, and then the Boyd catch on a you know another one. So they made some huge plays that they really had to make uh, with how the game was going. I uh, did like our offensive response to, to take the lead back after they were able to tie it up um, on the road in this environment. So that was really a positive to see. But once again, didn't do enough when we did get our chance there in overtime uh, to at least give Greg a chance at a field goal. Mullins had uh, the two interceptions inside the 25 and the one that was a pick six that was nullified. Yeah. How concerned are you about those plays? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is Nick showed that he can execute our offense and, and, and really – uh, move the football team. I think what we've got to continue to work through um, are those plays where uh, we don't try to do too much, and 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 really, it's it's a matter with uh, you know the the first one. You know, he was you know a little bit of you know man coverage, got guys running away, um, hoping to you know at the very least put it in play for a chance to try to run away, um, and and if not, um, you know we're in field goal range. Try to be smart with the football. He he wanted to take a chance there to JJ. Um, you know, and, and just they end up making a play on the football. The second one, 
um, really as the pocket collapses there, um, he's trying to get that ball thrown away. Um, that's just, you know, more repetition and understanding in that moment. We've got a great chance at three. Even if we do end up taking a sack in that moment, um, we still have a chance to put points on the board based upon the drive uh, that we, you know, that we had had. And then, uh, you know, on the inter the third one that got called back, we've kind of got a, a play there where, you know, he can either throw it to Ty front side or JJ on the back side. And when he did see the defender uh, kind of immediately uh, cross the line of scrimmage, that kind of forced him to throw one back into the boundary when maybe the look might have presented itself out to the field. Um, all of which is, uh, you know, things that, you know, we're, we're playing, you know, Nick's out there for really uh, the second time this season, and there's a lot to work through. But I thought as, as far as the, you know, yardage we were able to generate and, and you know, a couple big plays to help us score, uh, I thought Nick Mullins played uh, well enough to give us a chance to go to overtime on the road and win a game. And, and as a team, um, we just didn't do enough in the end. Go in assuming Nick starts against the Lions next week. Yeah, I would. Uh, you know, we'll evaluate it, Ben. But uh, you know, he did a lot of good things today. I, I, I liked the feel of both our run game and pass game. How it was kind of working, working together. Um, you know, but we'll we'll take a look at it, watch the film, and and uh, you know, make a decision moving forward. Um, but you know, Nick Mullins played. Uh, how I expected him to play. Uh, we still need to find a way to protect the football when, when it's in our hands on all downs um, and we continue to strive for the execution of the other 10 guys around the quarterback, which I thought uh, for the most part today was, was pretty solid. Kevin Ty Chandler, just what stood out about the way he ran the ball? Yeah, you know, we, you know, we wanted to feature Ty, and it, it, it kind of happened that, you know, Maddie not being able to go uh, enhanced his ops. I think he had every carry but one. Uh, from the running back position today, and uh, you just you just see him continuously. Uh, great cut a couple times on some unblocked, you know, crack force corners. Uh, made a great cut on the long the long run to get us down there for the last touchdown. Um, he's you know he's finding it, he's seeing it, he's getting better and better. Had some really nice uh, protection pickups on some of those play passes as well. So uh, huge huge growth day for him, and I look forward to keep him going and, and love where Ty Chandler's at right now. At this point in the season, it feels like must win every week. But after today, what's your message to the team and what are you looking for from your leaders? Yeah, uh, that's a great question. I, I think we've got to understand and evaluate this uh, really hard, players and coaches, of, hey, throughout the 60, really almost 70 minutes of football there, um, where were the plays where you know we could have maybe gave ourselves a better chance to either put the game away or, or maybe get one more stop, make them snap it one more time, whatever the, the term is, um, and then continue to find those one play phases in the kicking game where we're stealing yardage, we're possibly turning the football over. I thought Najee had a great effort on that one uh, late in the game that was very, very close to possibly being a turnover forced. Uh, but can we make that one play? And you never know when it's going to come. It's not always going to be in overtime or in a critical fourth quarter drive or defensively a third down stop late in the game. Um, you know, it's, it could be that early, that, that early first, second quarter, third quarter, uh, where you've got to just the, uh, the margin of error, uh, you know, trying to overcome some of the things we are right now. By no means is it any sort of an excuse. We've got to go make the plays uh, in all three phases of our team to win these games. Uh, luck, very fortunate to have two of them at home, uh, all three in the NFC North. Uh, we know all three teams, uh, you know, really the two teams that will play are playing good football right now. We're going to need to put together some good plans, uh, try to get as healthy as we can, and uh, go attack every opportunity uh, to go try to win them all. Do you feel Jefferson return opened up things for Addison this game? Yeah, you know, there was, uh, you know, there was some coverage being dictated to, uh, with some doubles and some combo coverages to him, and Jordan took advantage of it. Uh, he single covered on that touchdown, kind of screaming underneath there. Uh, Nick found him, what a catch, and, and finish there. Um, I, I thought just all across the board, JJ's ability to still, uh, you know, win uh, and, and get down the field, attack coverage when he got his ops. TJ and Jordan really playing off of some of those looks and attacking. Uh, as well, and then Nick finding those guys. Um, really, you know, happy with our offensive execution with the run and pass game. Um, would have liked to, you know, clearly score, um, you know, a few more points, albeit maybe three on a couple of those red zone ops, or uh, potentially find a way to sustain one or two more drives. Thanks, everyone. Love you.